Antigua and Barbuda has not had any active cases of COVID-19 since June 16. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Rhonda Seeley Thomas warns this is no reason for the country to drop its guard. If somebody is walking by themselves on the road exercising, it may not be practical for them to be wearing a mask at that time. It might be uncomfortable. But I certainly um, would not want to go to the point where we say there's no mask wearing outside. We still need to continue wearing our masks. The mandatory requirement for mask wearing in public came into effect in April of 2020. Consultant pathologist Dr. Lester Simon shares one scenario that highlights why this requirement must remain. If you're going to say, okay, I'm going to walk down the street, and it's a lonely street, I don't need to wear my mask. Okay, I don't even walk with a mask. So what happens when somebody confronts you or you meet a friend and the friend come, comes close to what you're going to do? Run home and get your mask and come back? Prior to the development of COVID-19 vaccines, mask wearing had been crucial in the fight against the further spread of the virus. If you have a, a crowd outside, of course, certainly masks need to need, would need to be worn because you could have droplets being um, expelled and um, going out to other persons. Over 27,000 people so far have received their second dose of the Oxford AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine here in Antigua and Barbuda. Being fully vaccinated significantly decreases the likelihood of someone contracting COVID-19, but it is not guaranteed to completely stop transmission. Earlier this month, two fully vaccinated guests aboard the Celebrity Millennium cruise vessel tested positive for COVID-19. The vessel made a call to the Bridgetown port in Barbados earlier that same week. Rakib Aparicio reporting for ABS News.